folks, Tim Conti here with Cloud Collaboration Consultants. I hope you're having a nice day today. Uh, in today's video, we're going to review the top CCAS or Cloud Contact Center as a Service Solutions for 2024. Um, it's a, an exciting time in the contact center market. Uh, my name is Tim Conti. I'm the founder of Cloud Collaboration Consultants, where we help customer experience leaders uh, evaluate the market for new cloud based contact center solutions from industry leading vendors. That you see here on the screen today you see some stuff in the back it's not ai i'm uh, dialing in from beautiful whitefish montana just wrapping up a ski trip with my family that we take every year and thought it would be a great time to record this video as we're working on a number of really exciting contact center projects as we go into 2024. so the first thing i'll say is the market is a crowded space <clears throat> you see just 37 vendors here and there's more uh, these are the ones that are on our radar um they're they all do some things very well um some things not so well uh, the differentiation is predominantly around support um there really is feature parity um, there's not much difference from um, one provider versus the next but there's definitely some market leaders in here that um we want to bring your attention to in today's video we're going to give you a um an overview of the top CCAS solutions for 2024, and then also some uh, bonus at the end of the video. So first and foremost, I just went ahead and select, I can choose and select any of these vendors. And, you know, this is based on my personal experience being in the contact center market for 15 years. I've helped clients from evaluation all the way through adoption of the system. So we see a lot of projects on any given year and my peer group is even bigger and we all talk um, and some of the largest organizations are moving their contact center to the cloud. So the ones I chose, I left off the folks at Avaya. I used to work there. I still think they're still trying to figure things out as it relates to the cloud, obviously an on-prem contact center vendor, they're a leader there, but um, I'm not personally not sold on them in the cloud just yet, although they are making a lot of developments. And then I slid in some also providers that I thought maybe they're not on your radar. We just had a great project with Dialpad for a client that was uh, needing a contact center and a unified communication solution. And they're, what they're doing in AI and analytics is really kind of second to none. Uh, Five9 is a Gartner Magic Quadrant leader, as is Genesis. Nice is the leaders of the leader and continues to win large engagements in the market. Uh, but then there's folks like Sprinkler. They're kind of different. They're not. They just showed up on the on the Gartner Magic Quadrant for the first time. We've got a number of engagements going with them, and they've got a really complete solution. I have a whole separate video on their offering on my YouTube channel if you care to take a look. Um, but I would I definitely wouldn't neglect them. And we're seeing Sprinkler becoming a finalist um, up against the five nines and the nice in context of the world. Um, they miss out on some of them, uh, but they're winning some as well. So for the first time, instead of seeing Genesis five nines and nice in contact, um, we see sprinkler nice and five nine or Genesis. And then I didn't want to leave out talk desk. Um, talk desk has got a, a really great solution. They're also in the Gartner magic quadrant leaders quadrant. So not all these are in Gartner. Um, but we base our analysis and our research on projects that we're running for clients. Um, and then lastly, I would be remiss if I didn't mention our friends over at Zoom. Uh, they are making huge investments in the contact center space, um, both by partnering and building out their own intellectual property, which brings me to some of these partnerships too, like a Ring Central, for instance. Uh, leader in the unified communication space, they're building out their own contact center. But right now, they mark they work with Nice CX One um, on on a full solution for their clients. So I'm going to ignore the criteria here on the left for now. That's a that's a separate video and a project, but something pretty cool here. When we generate this matrix, these are the leaders that I uh, went through before. Um, Dialpad, 5.9, Genesis, Nice, Sprinkler, and TalkDesk. And then when we've got a, a research report, 37 key evaluation criteria, these are the top CCAS providers in 2024. What platform are they on? Do they sell their solution standalone? What's their minimum uh, price for or the minimum deployment uh, for clients? What available pricing models do they offer concurrent or named? usage billing, um, what UCAS or Unified Communication Partnerships um, do they have? Where are their key acquisitions? Uh, where are their data centers located? 
Um, I could go on and on, but this research report would took hundreds of manpower hours with our partners over at Avant to pull this information together. Are they Microsoft Teams certified? We see a lot of clients moving to Teams for voice. How does that fit, impact your contact center? Those are all really big, important things to consider. Cloud app integration, this is number one. We have a lot of clients right now with Oracle Service Cloud looking for integrations. I can tell you with these uh, CCAS providers, some integrations are much better than others and don't believe what you see on a screenshot. And you really wanna dig in and we help with proof of concept. AI, this is huge. You can see some of them have built out AI much more than others. You see here's a whole section on the AI piece. Um, pretty pretty attractive and, and I have a whole separate video series on AI and contact center. Um, compliance, if you're in an industry that you need to be compliant, whether it be HIPAA for healthcare or PCI uh, for retail, you want to work with a provider that allows you to be compliant, gives you the tools so you're compliant. That way you're not um, going to get into any trouble. And then my favorite one, the differentiation, right? They all say they're the best. Uh, they can't be the, all the best, but one is the best for you. I firmly believe that. And when we go through our analysis with uh, customers, we take you through market research all the way to adoption and everything in between. Um, we will in the end come up with one provider um, that is the best solution. Now, you're probably also gonna be doing decision-making by committee like everyone is. You might not all agree, but you'll have all the data, uh, total cost of ownership, proof of concept, you name it, uh, industry reviews, peer reviews, customer reviews. Um, we've got all that uh, available to you. So that's what I have for you today. If you'd like to receive a free copy of the top uh, CCAS providers in 2024, um, just drop me a comment um, and then I'll message you, get your email address, or you can reach out obviously on our website as well. But the easiest way is just to drop a comment. And there's also a contact us button uh, in our YouTube channel. You can reach out that way as well. Um, no catch on this report. Um, we want to ensure that you have all the tools um, to make the right decision in a new context on our offering. We know that this is not a easy undertaking. We know that it's a strategic decision. It's tied to revenue. Your neck is on the line here and we're here with you to help you make an informed decision. So uh, this report is free. I'm not gonna make you jump on a call with me for an hour. You can if you want to. I'd love to talk to you about your project, but we're not gonna make that a requirement for this report. Um, but one thing to kind of tease back to you too though, if you would like us to down select, um, the right vendors for you in this tool, I'm able to do that. So I can choose what types of dialer options you're looking for. Um, I can uh, choose what kind of AI solutions you might be after, what pre-built integrations, um, you know, Salesforce being a pretty common one, but maybe you've got uh, Teams or Dynamics. Um, I can select from here. I can also, um, choose the social channels that you want to be on, let's say Facebook. And then on the digital channels, let's say you're looking for a provider that supports email, chat, um, and co-browse. Uh, then from here, I can generate this matrix and I then am able to rig the providers based on your requirements. So you see your requirements here on the left. This is the provider's ability to fulfill it. So this is a service that we offer uh, via this tool uh, that requires you booking a call because I need to learn a little bit more about you and put the right inputs in. And then I can do this report for free. So again, you're still getting it for free, but on the second option, besides the static research report that I can send you right away, um, this one is giving you a level of down selection that I think would be of interest to you. So that's what I have for you today. Thanks for listening. And I'm gonna head out to the slopes. Talk to you soon.